Hot, hot, hot. China's buzzwords. Chinese China prides itself on the Sida family, or the four great inventions. The printing press, paper, the compass, and gunpowder. But now a new term has come along. Sin Sida family, or the new four great inventions. High-speed rail, mobile payment, bike sharing, and e-commerce. It's fair to say that China's high-speed rail network, the longest such network in the world at more than 22,000 kilometers, is incredible. It's easy to understand why, as of 2016, there have been some 5 billion passenger trips since the high-speed rail debuted in 2008. Now, seeing as travel times have been reduced to a matter of hours, I've decided to escape the Beijing winter chill, travel hundreds of kilometers to the south of China, to tropical Yunnan, to go feed the pigeons. I'll be there before dinner. Not Yunnan, we're going to Tianjin. In about 30 minutes, we'll be there. Oh. But that's okay. What, what are we going to do there? We'll go there and then go back. We'll have to go back to work. Thanks to the development of China's mobile payment industry by third-party payment platforms, the country is moving ever closer to a cashless society. I could literally spend an entire day without the need for any cash thanks to mobile payment, whether that's taking a taxi, or buying a snack, or topping up your electricity, or buying a snack or recording a song, or buying a snack, or renting a bike, or even buying a snack. And now, there are even cashless supermarkets, where you can only buy things using your phone. No, no battery. China has more than 30 bike-sharing companies, providing a green, cheap, and convenient form of travel to millions of commuters every day. No, Stu, Stu, you're going to need an app to unlock that. With an app on your phone. Yeah, go download it. Yep, yeah, off you go. Shared bikes have become almost indispensable for people looking to travel short distances quickly and cost around one yuan per journey. No, 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 Stu, Stu, you need to verify your ID on the app first for insurance and security purposes so that everyone is safe. Go on, yeah, off you go. And thanks to an innovative Chinese business model relying entirely on GPS technology, it's never been easier to rent a ride. Oh, don't worry. There's plenty more around here somewhere. China's e-commerce industry and the logistics industry that operates alongside it is the stuff of dreams. So, sorry. With around 731 million internet users, the internet is quite literally driving economic growth in China. Now in 2016, online shopping grew at a rate of 26.2%, generating some 5.16 trillion yuan. And absolutely everything you need can be bought online and often delivered to you within 24 hours. From fresh food, clothing, electronics, exercise equipment, useless crap and everything. This, combined with amazing logistics, means it's easier than ever to do all of your shopping from the comfort of your desk, your living room, or even the toilet. Ugh. There is, of course, one negative. When the delivery guy calls, if you're in the office, you need to go downstairs and collect your delivery in person, which is fine. But if everyone else knows you've got a delivery... Oh, okay. Okay. But now a new invention, oh, the printing press, paper, oh, you're to a cashless society. We're cashless, we're cashless, cashless. Now in 2016, 